In today's video, we're going to take a look at hydrocarbons, and specifically at alkanes. First though, it's worth understanding that this whole area of chemistry is known as organic chemistry, which just means that it's all about compounds that contain carbon. You'll see over and over again in chemistry that carbon is a really useful element for making large compounds, because each atom of carbon can form four strong bonds, with the most common atoms to be bonded to being either other carbon atoms or hydrogen atoms. Now, lots of molecules only contain these two elements, and collectively we refer to all of these molecules as hydrocarbons, which we can define as any compound that's formed from carbon and hydrogen only. So, this molecule, which is called butane, is a hydrocarbon, but this similar molecule, called butanol, isn't a hydrocarbon, because it also has an oxygen atom. The most simple type of hydrocarbons are a group called alkanes, and you need to know the first four in the series. The smallest is methane, which contains just a single carbon atom bonded to four hydrogens, because remember carbons always have four bonds. Then we have ethane with two carbons and six hydrogens, propane, which is C3H8, and butane, which is C4H10. Now, if you look at all of these compounds, you'll see that they grow by one carbon and two hydrogens each time. But otherwise, they're pretty much the same. We call groups of organic compounds like this homologous series, and it means that they all have similar properties, and so react in a similar way. It also means that we can write a general formula which describes the entire series, and in the case of alkanes, the general formula is CnH2n plus 2. This might look a bit complicated, but all it means is that if the compound contains n carbon atoms, then it will contain 2 times n plus 2 more atoms of hydrogen. So if we had an alkane with 3 carbon atoms, like propane, then n would be 3. So it would have to have 2 times 3 plus 2 hydrogen atoms, so 8 hydrogens, which would give it the formula C3H8. Now, you only need to remember these first four, but you could be asked to use this general formula to work out the molecular formula of much larger ones. For example, octane is an alkane with 8 carbon atoms. What is its molecular formula? Well, we know that for octane, n will be 8, because that's how many carbons it has. So it must have 2 times 8 plus 2 hydrogens, which gives us 16 plus 2, or 18. So its molecular formula would be C8H18. Before we finish, we just need to mention that one of the key features of alkanes is that they're saturated compounds, which means that every carbon atom has four single covalent bonds. There aren't any double bonds. For example, if we were to take this molecule of propane and change one of these single bonds to a double bond, then each of the carbons involved would have to lose a hydrogen, and what would have left would no longer be an alkane. Instead, we would class it as an alkene, which we'll see when we take a look at cracking hydrocarbons in a later video. In our next video though, we'll stick with alkanes by taking a look at their properties and seeing how to write equations for their combustion. Anyway, that's all for now, so if you enjoyed it, then do tell your friends about us, and we'll see you next time.